link budget and link margin. So whenever we have a communication, the RF or radio frequency that is microwave, the link budget is a way of quantifying the link performance. That is, if you have a transmitter and a receiver, the link has need to be established. Link budget is a way to quantify. That is, you'll get a value. You can find a value that whether this link has a good performance or not. So when you send something, that is, you re the receive power which you get at receiving end in this wireless link. I'm talking about the wireless link, and the three factors are there. That is, the transmit power of the sender antenna, transmitting antenna gain. That is the transmitting power and transmitting antenna gain and the antenna gain of the receiving antenna. Gain is just, you know, the, the possibility, probability and the ability of the antenna to just focus on one direction and send this signal on one direction. That is the, the antenna gain. So if that power is minus the free space loss, because there will always be a free space loss whenever you send the waves, the link path, it is is greater than the minimum received signal level of the receiving radio, then only we say that the link is possible. What I what do I mean? I say that when the power is received and that receiver has certain sensitivity, oh okay, this much I can learn, this much I can demodulate, this much I can understand. So that is the receiver sensitivity of the the actual uh, receiver. The link margin is received power at the receiver and subtraction receiver sensitivity. Just the difference between the minimum received signals level and the actual received power is called the link margin. The link margin must be positive, we need to maximize it. So before we go to the actual link budget, let me tell you about the free space loss. So when we are doing the wireless communication and whenever the propagation is going on, the, the wave is moving in certain direction. Signal power is diminished or say attenuated or faded by the geometric spreading of the wave front. You can just call it as the loss of signal strength and this is free space loss. So the power of the signal is spread over a wave front, the area of which increases as the distance from the transmitter increases. Therefore the power density which was sent, it will be decreased, diminishes. The free space loss is dependent on the distance and the frequency of the radio wave. I will show you the formula. It only has distance and frequency. So how to compute the FSM? The formula is quite simple. This is the free space path loss model. And this is, we always uh, compute it in dB, decibels. So we, dB is, you know, a log, log conversion of the values. So we have the 32.5 plus 20 log frequency, 20 log distance. Now please remember the frequency has to be in megahertz, not in kilohertz, not in gigahertz. It has to be in megahertz. The distance should always be in kilometer. So 20 log f, 20 log d and this log is base 10. Let me write it again for you. The free space, space a path loss model. 32.5 plus 20 log base 10 f, f has to be in megahertz plus 20 log base 10 the distance has to be in kilometer megahertz kilometer megahertz kilometer i'll show you a figure also see this is the distance compared to loss so when the frequency is increasing if you see here the loss is higher the free space loss is higher for higher frequencies it depends on distance and frequency, as I said. A typical link budget equation for a radio communication system will look like this. What all are there? See, this is your transmitter, PX radio, this is your RX radio or the transmitter. Then we have an antenna and this is also an antenna. So there will be a pass loss. Whenever there is a propagation in the free space, there will be a loss. And then between we have certain cablings, connectors, etc. So let us see one by one. The equation is of PRX. What is PRX? PRX is the received power. That is the actual power received at the receiver station. 
how to compute that that is the power being sent then the gain of the antenna i, I told you gain is the ability of the antenna to uh, send the signal in one direction so that is in dbm dbm because of the you know, the milliwatt we compare so we have the let me tell you again the gain is sending in one direction ability of antenna gtx is transmitter antenna gain same thing in the you know receiver also grx is the receiver antenna gain and what is the lcx there will be feeder and connectors in the transmitter we will also have some ktb that is the thermal losses that will always be there so that is that is a loss okay so we have to keep it in negative i'll tell you why what we have to change lfs is the free space loss we just discussed and that is in db and lrx is the is the receiver feeder and associated loss that is connectors feeders etc and then we have lp these are certain miscellaneous loss like the fading margin polarization uh, polarization mismatch and medium there are other losses also which we compute lp okay all these all the you know good things that is the power and which is emancipating elevating the power or signal strength we added which are fading and which are attenuating we subtracted but because certain these things are coming in negative we have to put a modulus please remember minus minus will be positive so link margin is what we have received prx so prx is the receive power minus the receiver sensitivity normally we take it as minus 82 dbm or minus 86 dbm so let us understand this with an example that is you have a money link budget has to be understood like this that is you have a 500 500 dollars you have then you go all these reds are losses all the greens are your gains so you have 500 then you wanted to travel somewhere so then you gave something for taxi for example you gave 200 dollars how much is left with you 300 dollars is left with you now you have the antenna gain that is the atm withdrawal you would withdraw uh, withdraw some money from the atm that is say 1000 dollars you have 3100 dollars now now you spend some money on meals and drink and all those stuff and this is a big loss this is a very big loss and let us say 1000 uh, you spend so 1300 you had you only have 300 now okay now you again uh, have to go for taxi so you took you withdraw we you you made a withdrawal of 500 say dollars so how much you have here 500 plus 300 800 you have now there will be some losses here cable losses say it is 300 again or you can take any number so you have uh, say 500 okay so 300 is the loss so 500 is remaining so now this margin is what is the remaining cash you have what are the expenses and what is the difference between these the expenses and the remaining cash the difference between them is the margin that is the link margin okay that means your ex the expenses should not be higher than the money you have or the remaining cash you have the, the cash you have after all the losses you have certain cash that cash should not be less than a certain amount for example 2000 you had 220 200 you 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 know spent so 200 is a loss the link margin is just saying just remaining cash and expenses difference that is the receive power minus the receiver sensitivity the remaining cash is uh, receive power receiver sensitivity is your all the expenses the difference is like this let us take an example here now we have a 5 km link so we have two points you can call it one as access point other as a client radio or you can say receiver and transmitter now the this first one the the transmitting power is 20 dbm and the receiver sensitivity is -89 i'm talking i'm talking about the transmitter but we are interested in the receiver sensitivity of the receiver so 10 dbi is the gain always dbi is uh, you know compared with the isotropic that is why dbi the 
So we have the antenna gain, which is dBi. We have cable losses, say minus 2 dB. And then coming to client side. The antenna gain on the client side or you can the receiver side is 14 dBi plus 14 dBi and this there is a path loss and the path loss is also given for 5 km. The receiver sensitivity as I said we just have to consider the receiver sensitivity that is minus 82 dBi. So the path slot is minus 114 dB and we are talking about 5 km length. Okay. Now let us try to assume that it is 2.4 gigahertz frequency. So this is 20 dBm. This is the transmission power, 20 dB. We can keep it in plus. Then since there is a loss, so this is 2 dB. So you have to you have to subtract it. But before that you have to add antenna also. Antenna again, 20, 10 dBi. So 2 dB we have subtracted. Then we have the path loss. There is a loss. This is a loss, so you have to have uh, you have to subtract this 114 dB, and th that is why we have put minus 114 dB. Then we have 14 dBi gain of the receiver antenna, so you add it. Then there is a loss of cable connectors, etc. That is 2 dB. That we subtracted, and then you just have to add all this. When you add all this, that is minus 74 dBm. This is the expected receiving a signal level or signal strength at the receiver. Now receiver sensitivity is minus 82 dBm and now we have to subtract it, these two. As you remember, what was, what was the link margin I told you? Link margin is, the formula is, because we have the receiver sensitivity, sensitivity and the receive power. But the formula here is, we have to subtract these two, receive power and uh, Receiver, receiver sensitivity, link margin is received power minus receiver sensitivity. So, when we subtract it, we get 8 dB. So, this is the link margin. So, whenever you make this, this uh, any link, this margin 8 dB has to be considered. You have to, if it is 20 dB, you have to consider 28 dB for any kind of communication link to be possible. Right? So, the signal to be known to be demodulated, understood is very important.